the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. And this is the Sports Vote Campaign Update Podcast. The Evil Mouse of Burbank, Season 4, Episode 16. So DraftKings uh, dropped to single digits on the 9th of May and is in the mid-teens or mid to low teens. Uh, that tells you everything you need to know about the condition of that company. It's, it's at the IPO price and below, actually. Uh, there is no future in this. There is no pro- path to profitability. Uh, as soon as they stop putting out these promotions, uh, they're going to lose market share. So there's no way to to sustain this model without overspending. Um, Time will prove that out. Housing bubble 2.0. The regional housing markets are beginning to look like they did in 2007. I said this over a year ago when people were still hyping the real estate market to the moon. Um, There's no way for this to sustain because all of this uh, stimulus and uh, recovery money is, is... coming to an end. Um, as I stated in a prior podcast, the SBA programs ran out of money uh, a couple weeks ago. So summertime, you're going to see the beginning of, of the collapse of this stuff. How far it falls is a little hard to say, but it's coming down. James Hong had his uh, star on the um, Walk of Fame. Uh, he has the most acting credits of anybody in the history of film. Again, this is the um, movie that has been in process with um, Ace and, and Zach for a number of years now. It's overdue for a lot of different reasons, including the pandemic, but that's just an interesting little piece you probably saw uh, across uh, some coverage somewhere because it was everywhere. Um, there is no justice in this world, in this world system. There's only power. Get that. Really get that. They engineer the outcomes they want, and then they back them up with whatever citations are needed. Bill Maher had a piece on this recently on his show. He said something like, do you ever notice how lawyers always appear on TV with all those law books behind them? Like that's what they use to figure out any particular case. No, that's not at all what happens. You decide the outcome you want, and then you go through those books to figure out what citations to use to back it up. That's absolutely spot dead on right. That's exactly how it works. Look at the 1961 Wire Act. Nobody cares, right? Apparently that law doesn't exist, but yet the securities laws from the 1930s, 1930s, that exists, right? That's the very reason, the 1961 Wire Act is the very reason we set out and built the SRI in the first place, and we shut down the ASM market to the point it wasn't viable, based on the guidance we got from Washington because of the Wire Act, and yet um, we were saying, you know, it's not gambling, they were saying, well, it's, it's too close to call, so uh, that's what built the SRI, and yet now they promote gambling straight up like that law doesn't even exist. You're a bunch of lousy, worthless hypocrites. Burn in hell. I mean it. I will not negotiate with such a machine. Forget it. You guys are going to reap what you sow. Reap what you sow. Bunch of greedy hypocrites. So, uh, feudalism 2.0, you will own nothing and be happy. Just Google that. That's what they're trying to put uh, together in this new world order. The Carvana vending machine companies in big trouble. Uh, that's the bleeding edge of technology. Is what I would uh, how I would describe that in the car business, but it does not bode well for the uh, for the car market and the economy at large. Reforming the legal system faces the same issues as reforming the political system. Who is going to do that exactly? The incentives are all in the opposite direction. And the tiny fraction of ethical, honest people are not nearly enough to overcome the vast majority of greedy, unethical, power-loving dirtbags. So, how's that ever going to happen? Short of an act of God, which is what it will take and what it actually will come to pass. Um, El Salvador is expected to default on their debt as a result of making Bitcoin their um, currency. I predicted this. Idiots. I said this when it happened. It's just foolishness, and it's going to turn that country upside down. 
And guess who pays? The poor people. So why are all these dead bodies surfacing in Las Vegas? Uh, as the uh, lake goes down, Lake Mead, I believe it is. Well, the answer? Gambling. <laughs> uh, so let's have a lot more of that. Um, so much for the dollar peg uh, cryptocurrencies. I frankly never believed it. I thought it was just a marketing ploy, which it turns out to be. Um, you now have them failing one after another. Uh, that's really bad. Um, very predictable, though. This whole thing is a freaking scam. But you know the regulators have to focus on other things. This is not important. It's not important that this virus is running through the entire financial economy and uh, destroying things and causing people to commit suicide. But now you have to file on unethical, uh, unbacked by law lawsuits against little startups that had no action requests and commented on court cases and have been working over a decade to uh, put uh, our new invention in line with the law. But that's, that's what you want to chase after, but not the ones that are destroying the entire economy. That's, that's not worth looking at, right? You guys will reap what you sow as well. I'll get to that in a minute. There's a Fifth Circuit case that might take your agency and turn it into an ash heap. So the U.S. has uh, surpassed 100,000 overdose deaths in 2020. That's really, really bad. That's just, those are... Those are um, Despair, that's a, uh, in, a despair indicator. Um, people are very um, disheartened, very discouraged. They have hope, a lot of hopelessness in the economy, particularly I, uh, or in the society. I, I'm particularly worried about the next generation, um, you know, my kids and in, in that range, because uh, I've taken a cross-section of just talking to them, and they really have a very poor outlook on, on, on the future. So the uh, the fake fluffy um, economy is disappearing, crypto crash and all. I say good. The sooner the better. Um, let's see who has uh, has their shorts on when the water goes out. Uh, the end of stable coins. Yeah, good thing the regulators are doing their jobs. Never again will I entertain the notion they know what they're doing or they are honest or ethical. Don't even try it. This is the point. This is the point, the whole stablecoin thing, this is the point where digital, where they were calling all this digital gold, which was complete malarkey. Um, this is where it decouples from real gold and other precious metals. It's already happened. Um, and, you know, get back to stuff that really exists rather than this fiction that we seem to want to create uh, in the world, live in a fictional world. So uh, the uh, tax returns... The actual the reporting returns for the nonprofit. We're uh, putting all that together now. Uh, this will continue until they're completed at the end of this year. Then we'll file a petition to restore our 501c3 status, which should be granted because the revocation was um, due to just automatically because they didn't have three years of returns. It was not done by a specific agent or due to a specific reason, other than just a trigger went by because of uh, not having the three returns. So. We have uh, filed the extension request for 2021, which was approved, and then we're putting together the rest of those. And you can see um, in the outline, I have a link to the return extension being approved. Um, California has nearly a $100 billion budget surplus, the largest in U.S. history for any state. So you can smack talk California all you want. Numbers are numbers. Numbers don't lie. Negativity will destroy you. Some folks are slow learners, self-destructive, or both. Negativity will destroy you. Get that. You. Not me. You. Some folks are slow learners, self-destructive, or both. Preventing a defendant from responding to a complaint or even speaking in open court and then turning verifiable lies into facts. Is that how things work? So... Basically, you have one side of a case, that person pleads that side of the case, and then, I don't know, has a clever lawyer or bribes the judge or whatever and causes <clears throat> a default, which means the other guy can't speak. And then whatever you say becomes the, um, quote, facts of the case because there was no opposition because you prevented the opposition from speaking. That's criminally insane. Okay? That notion. And every single solitary person who had a hand in this 
against me is going to burn for it. Okay? Laugh now. Enjoy your load, your your uh, your Mercedes lease payments because when the game runs out, it's going to be ugly, ugly, ugly. If you try to harm me, God will harm you. You hear that? If you try to harm me, and I use the word try, if you try to harm me, God will harm you, but not before warning you many, 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 many times. Unclean mouths, lying lips. All liars end up in the lake of fire, so keep it up. So the Fifth Circuit, which is uh, interesting because Fifth Circuit covers Texas, which is the um, you know, New Sports Economies was formed as a Texas nonprofit. There is a case that was just decided in the Fifth Circuit, which threatens the very foundation of the SEC, basically claiming it's unconstitutional. Um, I think this is great. I think this threat needs to be there. Um, this is a significant enough decision that it could very well unwind the very existence of the Securities and Exchange Commission. That part above where I said, uh, be careful with your harm directed towards me. Now, am I saying that God would take down an entire agency for the sake of me personally? No, I'm not saying that. I don't claim to be that important in the scheme of things. But I can tell you this. I'm just an example, okay? There are more. There are many more cases of what happened to me happening to other people. Now, could I be the straw that broke the camel's back? Absolutely. The Bible is, re is full of stories of God just getting to a point and saying, okay, that's the last person you're doing that to, and then tear the whole thing apart. Okay? These people know what they're doing is wrong. Everything and everyone reaps what they sow. I will no longer be in the business of trying to convince evil to be good. If you want to be evil, be evil, okay? You will reap the consequences of that, okay? As Jeff Hazlett from Hero Club said, pick a side. These people know better. They make conscious choices to line their pocketbooks for personal, short-term, selfish reasons. This is deliberate and it's intentional. Therefore, they are 100% accountable for their actions. Countries are just the accumulated behaviors of individuals. We are obviously sick as a country. Sometimes sick people die. That's how it works. So, the, Walt, the, the story they're floating now with DraftKings stock price near the IPO and then bleeding money at the rate of $2 billion a year, $2 billion a year, just wrap your mind around that, is that should Disney go directly into the gambling business by acquiring and promoting DraftKings. Wow. So that's just, let, let, the, let the evil mouse of Burbank show its true colors. You know, I can go into a lot of other stuff about Disney stuff and uh, Freemasonry and Disney being a 33 degree, 33 uh, degree Mason and, and all of the hidden messaging and the magic and all the go. But let's just stick with the promotion of gambling. Can you imagine going into a Disney theme park and seeing them teaching kids how to gamble or teaching them about gambling right from childhood? If you think that's okay, it's time for you to move on because you're not going to want to hear anything else I have to say from this point forward. You're on the dark side and you need to just own that and just stick with that. Go that way. Pick a side, right? Pick a side. Go with the darkness and see where it leads you, okay? Because we're not compatible, okay? We're not compatible. This is so clearly wrong, and if you can't see that, then, then you're lost. Simple as that. You're a lost soul. Okay, so that's all for this update. I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Thank you for your time. Bye now.